So hi Prerna, thanks a lot for joining for today's interview. Uh, we are uh, we are really looking forward to having a great conversation with you, wherein you know we could uh, be looking forward to having insights on your journey of how you got to four, uh, your plans for the future, and majorly your key learnings when you are at four school of management. Thank you so much for the invite. I am honored. to partner and collaborate with pagal guy and to bring uh, bring in more eligible and great candidates within our college campus as well perfect so prerna to begin with uh, tell us how uh, give us a bit about your background and uh, how did mba happen for you great so prior to pursuing a pgdm course at four school of management i had pursued a bba in general management so i have always been a commerce student and i uh, believe that after a bba i i believe that a P- GDM course would actually help me in enhancing my already existing skills because I already bring in a 1.5 years experience in talent acquisition. So I wanted to explore more avenues. I wanted to see what all options would be suitable for my field. And basically, uh, when you are doing a PGDM course, you have so many options to explore. So uh, while I have an uh, while I have a background in HR, I uh, studying here could actually uh, expose me to marketing avenues and to operations and to finance. And there we also have many specializations. such as communication it uh, along with strategy so if someone is interested in consulting they can take up strategy if someone thinks that they are a good marketer marketing is always an option so i think four brings in a plethora of options for a candidate to explore from got it got it so when it comes to any mba aspirant uh, before yes. you look at uh, you take the dream of going for an mba mm-hmm. uh, there is this one big milestone that you have to co- cross that is the entrance test how did you prepare for your entrance test and what advice would you give students who are currently you know uh, at the stage of which in- entrance test to choose how to go about with it and overall how has your journey been through when you take preparation for the entrance test so i'll give you my honest opinion so i have taken the entrance test entrance test uh, tw- twice so the first time what mistake i did was not taking enough uh, eg- uh, enough test exams so basically it's important to take mock exams uh, rather than just preparing and learning and practicing mock exams actually help you and they tell you where you stand right now so the second time when i uh, cracked that for getting into four school of management i basically focused more on taking mocks so as you were saying that you know well, one of the aspect is to take mock test and uh, is to go about with uh, with you know constantly making yourself well versed with the pattern and the structure of the exam uh same thing follows when it comes to appearing for the selection processes of an mba institution how was the selection process at four and what was your experience uh, out of it and do you have any advice for people who are going to appear for the selection processes in the current admission cycle okay so uh, when we uh, fill up the forms to get into four they usually ask uh, about my area of interest as well so it's important to know where you're coming from and it's important to work on your general knowledge skills as well so in the interviews the interview take uh, the interviewers also ask about your general knowledge uh, experience and uh, the work ex that you've had and your educational background so i would suggest that you should be well aware of the things that you've already mentioned in your form so that's it uh regarding the uh, otherwise it's quite comprehensive and the interviews are are esteemed faculty only that take the interviews so they are actually quite understanding and they actually uh, care about where the person is coming from so it's important to just know and to uh, to uh, understand where you're coming from and be well prepared got it how was your interview process uh, when you appeared for the four selection process uh, do you remember any key insights that you feel are uh that you learned at that point of time or that is you know something that you feel like you will carry forward ahead in your yes, life of course, of course. so uh, in my interview process as my uh, course is a pgdm in international business so i i think i could have uh, prepared well and better in my international business knowledge because of course is the course that i am uh, opting out for so it's important for a student to learn, to actually understand what is international business and what are the key happenings in and around them to actually crack the interview so i would actually suggest that to be well versed with what's actually happening around our world and to be prepared according to the uh, according to the program that you're opting out so in case you're opting out for a big data analytics course you should know what big data is and what is happening in that community similarly if you're opting out for a financial management course it's important that you're well versed with at least the basics of the course that you're able to justify as to why you're choosing the course so that's most important got it 
now that you are already part of four school of management and you know you have already spent a significant amount of time uh how has your journey been and uh, what is it as per the expectations that you were hoping for or is it more beyond that i think it fulfills my expectation because i'm as i'm still a first year student in the college and i still have a long way to go in my learning experience right but i've seen the faculty that teaches at four school of management and they're all phd's and they have their doctorates from very various and esteemed institutions in the country and abroad as well so just to be in the in that atmosphere of learning and to understand uh, the, the various experiences and perspectives that they bring into the classrooms so there's a lot to learn from, from the faculty along with uh, along with uh, we have a various com- uh, you know com- communities in our college or we can also say the committees so students get a p- chance to participate in those committees and interact with various industry solvers through that so of course the, the, i think it's it's uh, it's meeting my expectations to be at four school of management because i am getting the exposure that i actually needed from an mba degree got it so are there any key takeaways or lessons that you believe have that will positively impact your career trajectory that you have learned from four so far yes so i believe the power of networking is of utmost importance because as much as you network you gain uh, you actually interact with many industry people and you gain industry experience because at, uh, because ultimately we are all trying to enter into a corporate world or bring, uh, build our own businesses so it's important to build uh, your networks and uh, and you know interact with people according to that so yeah. understanding that you know there are significant amount of uh, learnings that you are having at you know four school of management that would definitely affect the uh, professional life your professional life in the future exactly Exactly. are there any uh, aspects that strike out from this journey so far at four that you believe has also contributed to your overall personality development and exactly. if there's any experience or any incident that you like to share on the same okay. so uh, although i bring in a year and a half experience in talent acquisition i was already working with the cxos of various companies because i was interacting with them through the recruitment process but here at four i've uh, actually learned to network better to write better emails and to interact with uh, various industry stalwarts because uh, uh, previously i only had a very t- limited uh, pool of people that i used to interact with but now through seminars and conferences i have had the chance along with other students to actually interact with other industry people so i think that's something that i will take up in my professional skills is to network better or uh, write better and communicate better got it so how is four campus when it comes to uh, the kind of life outside of classroom uh, mm-hmm. how do you how does four look like when it comes to campus life okay so four is actually surrounded by a forest here so uh, i would suggest that uh, as we know the pollution levels in delhi are sort of a problem for everyone but uh, we are surrounded by trees and forests around with that and there's very peaceful environment the role is very aesthetic as the gen z suggests right and uh, 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 of course the life outside four is that we interact through college festivals because uh, the area that is situated in is kutub institutional area and we've got a line of uh, management co- uh, schools right here so we are able to interact with uh, you know students from different colleges and iit delhi is also right, uh, right around the corner so we uh, we meet uh, out, meet them meet those students outside the campus and we also have a chance to interact with them so i think it's more of a very comprehensive area, uh, comprehensive area of you know interacting with other students got so it. i think candidates can actually explore the area for themselves uh, if they're in town got it so uh, if someone had to ask you what are uh, the key aspects that one should consider when choosing a b school uh, for themselves because we understand that an mba each mba is not made for everybody do you have to choose an mba that aligns with your objectives so how does one choose a b school that aligns with their objectives what are the key aspects i would suggest that they actually understand what they are interested in so if a person wants to uh, you know interact with the marketing field or if they want to go into strategy so they should know where their interest actually lies so i think four is more uh, you know more famous and more well known for the marketing area so if someone's inter- interested in marketing and international business as well because my course is international business and only two institutes in the country actually offer this course which is iift and four if i'm not wrong so if they are interested in these avenues so they can obviously explore uh, their b school according to that so it's important to know where actually your interest lies and choose a b school according to that 
perfect perfect so this brings us to the end of our interview and it was lovely having you on, on for this interview like great insights not just around four but also around how personally uh, mba education has affected you in general as a person before we leave for this interview i have one last question for you mm. if i had to ask you to describe an mba what an mba is in less than 10 words what would it be for you uh i think an mba degree is transforming because you are you will be meeting your own personality traits that you have never discovered before so that's i think uh, is an mba for me. perfect thanks a lot thank you for you know being part of this interview we will get in touch with you have a wonderful evening ahead thank you so much thank you